All right, everyone, welcome back for another episode of FitFry. If you're new to the channel, warm welcomes. Let's jump right into the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how Step App ticker symbol FitFry is performing against both the US dollar and the BTC pair. So following yesterday's video and the day before that and the day before that, we were talking about this head and shoulders breakdown that occurred approximately around 11.6 cent and since then you can see that we have been capitulating this is exactly what we predicted we're down about five percent uh, i really hate how i said that i just sounded like mm crypto ignore that <laughs> but you know from here we were calling a 43 percent drop you know we haven't done anything special we're down about eight percent uh, but i do think this can get a lot lot more shaky and in fact if we hop over to the one hourly time frame if we get rejected from these EMA ribbons, which by the way, I think we are, I'm going to talk about why uh, you can see we have a mini head and shoulders pattern playing out right now. If we extrapolate this, you can see boom, boom, head, shoulders. And what this would mean is, you know, we've already moved up into the one hourly EMAs and we did this on the other shoulder and we moved back down to the trend line. So I think it is very, very likely that we could be playing out another mini head and shoulders pattern. And what's super, super brutal and interesting about this is we just had a pretty big head and shoulders pattern over on the four hourly time frame. We broke down from the head and shoulders pattern and we had another head and shoulders pattern up. But this head and shoulders pattern, you know, the the big point that came up here on the head simply came back to the neckline of this macro head and shoulders pattern and then and then it starts to break down so this is a head and shoulders breakdown with a head and shoulders confirming the breakdown about to break down into its own head and shoulders pattern this is really brutal uh, what we're seeing right now over on fitfry if you want to be bullish on fitfry then we would absolutely have to pump above 12 cent if we don't get above 12 cent then this is basically going to be the confirmation of the downtrend you know like i said here top of this wick is coming in at 12.0224 cent we really need to get above there if you want to be uh if you want to be bullish over on FitFi, but at this moment in time, it, it seems like it is going to continue with the breakdown. And you can also see uh, at the top of this, we had a mini, mini head and shoulders pattern confirming the head and shoulders pattern as, resist as resistance and then breaking down and forming another big, big head and shoulders pattern. So it's like we've got head and shoulders on head and shoulders on head and shoulders. At some point, one of these is probably not going to work out because there's been so many. But I think looking at this, you know, we're already starting to tick over and losing momentum on the one hourly time frame. Uh, on the four hourly time frame, not too much to say here. Bears are in control of the trend. But at this moment in time, uh, it seems like, you know, bulls are really trying to pu push this up. And this is what we saw in the last four hourly candle. We had about 9 million FitFi bought on a single four hourly candle. So is there hope for FitFi? I, you know, I'd, I'd like to hope so. At this moment in time, I'm not in a trade for it. But like I said, you would really need to get above 12 cent. If you do not get above 12 cent, or even if you come up to 12 cent again, this could just be a double top, double confirmation of the macro head and shoulders pattern. And I'm sure that's not what anyone wants to see. If we do come up to approximately 12 or 11.9 cent, we could actually be coming up to get rejected from the 13 EMA, which is something that we often do over on FitFi. You can see we could, before we had this big, big slide down, we came up to the 13 EMA here. If we zoom out, uh, the last time or the only time that we've crossed this because this only came into fruition round about the 8th of may it crossed over uh well it crossed over the price action on the 9th of may crossed over the ema ribbons and we just completely landslided so I i'm still bearish on fitfry I, I do think it is more likely that we go down to lower price targets before we do recover where are my price targets because you know at this point we're almost in price discovery to the downside from the fibs from the low to the high we've invalidated the 786 and you know we've got a few fibonacci targets but apart from that it seems like uh the, the floor is getting closer and closer and i, I actually don't think we're going to come anywhere near this because if we did we drop about another 96 percent and i just don't i really don't see that happening you know I, I think we can definitely continue with the breakdown that i predicted in the last video and that is the head and shoulders pattern so i think we are coming down to this still like i said we were predicting a 43 percent drop at this moment in time we've only got about another well, you know, I say about another because we've, we've really barely moved uh, since I made this prediction. So, you know, I, I can't celebrate the trade too yet, uh, too closely. Uh, we need to wait for this breakdown of approximately 10 cent. I'll give you the exact target in a second. But I think we're coming down about another 38% uh, before we see 
any type of bounce. You know, if you're looking for a more conservative target, we do have support at about 8.7 cent. This is a 3.618 fib. If we zoom out, you can see from this most recent bounce from here to here, uh, from candle body close, we've got you know 1.618, 2.618, 3.618. These were all respected perfectly. You know, we broke down bear flag, but we held the 1.618, mass capitulation, back test 1.618, moved down to the 2.618, you know, uh, support, 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 resistance, resistance, uh, flipped above it, major, major pump after we got above it, broke down from it, came back up to the 2.618, got a rejection, moved down, uh, almost came up to the 2.618, lower high, and, and since then we've been making lower highs. So market structure seems bearish i think even if you're being conservative a 21.6 percent drop is probably in the cards looking at the squeeze bomb we're still kind of ticking into the light red on the four hourly candles uh, which could be indicative that we are getting ready for that next move to the downside i know i never say this but i'd look at the lower time frames because this breakdown of this miniature head and shoulders pattern let's say hypothetically we break down in the next three hours this gives it a little bit of time to move up then you would not want to see a move below 10.88 cent um let's just round it down call it 10.8 cent just to be extra uh, extra sure and be sure to wait for hourly and four hourly candle body closes below this because you can see we had multiple wicks down below this if anything i'd be getting ready to short this if it did if it did have a massive break below back tested it and then moved down i'd be looking to short that for sure uh, but that is basically all I see on Green Satoshi Token. Uh, oh, sorry, fit, this is all I see for FitFi against the US dollar. I literally just recorded the Green Satoshi Token update before this. Uh, when, when you make like, you know, 10 uh, TA videos a day or so, you know, you kind of model up some of the names sometimes. So it is what it is. But let's jump into what is going on on Step App FitFi against Bitcoin. Now, I literally only want to spend a minute or so on this because I also do want to talk about the Bitcoin dominance and in that I'm only going to spend a couple of seconds or so. So in the past day, you can see we are once again moving down against Bitcoin. So while we are technically up on the daily, we're up about 0.59%. Just like I said, while the Bitcoin dominance is moving up, which you can see it's basically on a bull run right now, I've been saying Bitcoin is going to outperform these altcoins. How is Step App doing against um, Bitcoin today? Well, you know, Bitcoin is up 5%. FitFi is up, let's call it 1%. So Step App or FitFi against BTC is actually down 4% because if you're holding Bitcoin, you'd be up 5%. If you're holding FitFi, you're up 1%. So ergo, you're down 4% against Bitcoin. Not really looking too good in my opinion, but this is the daily. When you zoom out, it gets a lot, lot worse. Bear in mind, from the top of FitFi against Bitcoin, we went from a valuation of 0 0.00002. So we basically went from two with four zeros to a four with four zeros. So I believe if we came down to two, that would be a 90% drop. So this is approximately around the realm of an 80, 75% uh, drop while we are around here. So unfortunately, I don't believe we have a FitFi BTC chart. Yeah, we don't have a FitFi BTC chart on TradingView. I do search every other day for it, but unfortunately it hasn't come in yet. So we do have to just kind of get a general look of how FitFi is performing against Bitcoin over on CoinMarketCap. This is a great website, by the way. If you can't find how your altcoin is performing against Bitcoin, simply come over to CoinMarketCap, type in your crypto. So you know, FitFi, click on it. And then you'll notice this is the USD chart. Simply untick the USD and tick Bitcoin. Or if you want a comparison of how it's doing against both USD and Bitcoin, keep them both. I'm going to remove it. I want to see how it's doing against Bitcoin because we already looked at how it's doing against the US dollar on TradingView. And, you know, I don't want to do a bunch of TA on this. There's not much to say, but we're very, very bearish. And like I've been saying, while the Bitcoin dominance is going up, then do not expect uh, FitFi or other altcoins to outperform Bitcoin. Sure, some of them can. They, they can for a day or two, a couple of days, maybe a week. But in the longer time frames, it's, it's not going to happen, in my opinion. Of course, very subjective opinion. This is my TA channel. This is what I think is going to be happening. But... Like I said, I, while the Bitcoin dominance is going up, it's it's factual. When the Bitcoin dominance moves up, it is outperforming altcoins. It, that is by definition what the Bitcoin dominance is. Um, but 
but looking at this, it, it really does seem like we're getting ready for a breakout. And I don't want to do a bunch of TA on this. I simply want to mention that we've been riding the four hourly EMAs for the longest period in time. And we have just broken out of a rising wedge. This is super, super bullish. We're forming a green, red, green formation as we do pump above. The last time we had a green, red, green, we came all the way from 47% up to 47.57%. So do not underestimate the Bitcoin dominance right now. Uh, I have already recorded a more macro video on the Bitcoin dominance. I am going to upload that second to last tonight. So if you do want my full in-depth views of what the Bitcoin dominance is doing, then be sure to check out my channel towards the latter half of the evening in a couple of hours or so. And also before I do wrap up the video, I've been having a lot of people ask me recently, uh, specifically within the, the Fitfire, GST and Move to Earn community. Apparently that community is very strong. I've been getting tons of messages on Instagram, um, Twitter, uh, the Discord as well, people are always asking me, um, you know, when am I buying altcoins? When do I think GST is going to start outperforming? When do I think GST is going to go up against Bitcoin? And that with a ton of other altcoins like FitFi, um, Green Metaverse token, I get asked about when these altcoins are going to perform well against Bitcoin all the time. So I thought I'd make a very clear and concise update tonight. I don't know what I'm going to title the video. It will be my last upload tonight. Uh, it's going to be somewhere around the lines of, you know, when I think it's altcoin season, when I think altcoins are going to be bullish. That is going to be uh, the breakdown of the video. And I'm going to be talking about everything I know about when to expect altcoins to once again be outperforming Bitcoin. Because we move in cycles. When the Bitcoin dominance goes down, uh, altcoins are outperforming Bitcoin. When the Bitcoin dominance moves up, Bitcoin is outperforming altcoins. So at this point in time, there's not much point, in my opinion, uh, to be focusing too much on these altcoins. I did just want to give you a quick market update. Like I said, keep an eye on the breakdown target at about 10.8 cent. If we break below there, it's not going to be looking good for Fitfire. So all I've got for you today, as always, not financial advice. Cowboy out. Peace.